was ridiculous. That cracked me up. It was very ridiculous. <laughs> Stick around. DDD after the break. It's time for Double Dog Dare! <laughs> Almost! Last week, I dared Mel to do this. I dare you to impersonate somebody of your choice. Okay. Huh? She's been dared. She took up the challenge. Can she do it? Manny! Come on out! A lovely cape with a name on the back. Who could she be? <laughs> There's no time to waste. <laughs> Tell me who I am. Double. <laughs> Double skill. Well done. Joy Dragon. <laughs> That's fantastic. Very good. Very, Did very you good. Find Double scoops. Oh, I can't tell you my source. Where did you find double scoops? <laughs> oh, that's now, fantastic. I challenge you yes. <laughs> to yeah. a limbo contest, my friend. With you? Yeah. And that is your dare. Our dare for next week. Look forward to that. Well done. Scoop. I'll Again. be there. One more flex. <laughs> oh, intense. Oh. Right now, let's go to Sabrina. This is your nine line. <laughs> Here we go, Sabrina's off on one of her crazy adventures yet again, and so are we. It's Letter of the Week time, and this week's letter has been sent in from Nigella Houghton from North Richmond in New South Wales. She's written a terrific letter there saying the things that she likes about the show, Double Dog Dare, Transfreezers, Sabrina, and she's done the Disney logo. Very well done. She's also drawn some of her favourite characters from Winnie the Pooh. One of the things she says in the letter is that she's not very good at drawing, but she loves it and that's what matters. Well, Nigella, I think you are a fantastic drawer. Here we go, and her favourite character, Eeyore. Oh, they're great drawings, Nigella, thank you. Here are your prizes. To celebrate the video release and DVD debut of Walt Disney's classic animation, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, you've won this fantastic Disney prize pack, which includes a set of huge, cuddly, soft toys featuring all the characters. Dopey, Sneezy, Sleepy, Doc, Happy, Grumpy and of course Bashful. Plus a beautiful Snow White doll, plus lots, lots more. Congratulations! Congratulations again Nigella, thank you for these, they are terrific. We're going to pin them up here on the board. So guys, if you would like to write to us, make sure you take a photo of what you're sending in because we won't be able to send it back. And this is the address, it is Saturday Disney, Letter of the Week. Locked bag 877 Eastwood, New South Wales 2122. And please put your name, age, address, telephone number and your area postcode on the back. Vital information. <laughs> Stick around because Mel checks out some world instruments right after the break. learning a musical instrument there are so many it can be a tough choice and I'm about to make your decision even harder Jeff this is a magical world of instruments are you yes. responsible for it yes this is all mine this is my gigantic playroom I haven't seen half of these before. Can you show yeah. us some of the more interesting instruments? Sure, I'd love to. Uh, this is my toys. Okay. Where to start? <laughs> How about this one? Yeah, what, what's this? Yeah, Can I pick, pick it up? Pick it up, yeah. This is called a Cora. A Cora? Yeah, it's a West African harp. It has 21 strings and it sounds beautiful. Here's some things from Tanzania. Africa again. Africa again. And these are little thumb pianos. Ah, my sister has one of these. African yeah, these are beautiful. Piano. This one is actually made out of a herring tin. So one of the wonderful things about Africa is nothing gets wasted and it's something we can learn from here. Anything around you make something from it. And here we have one of the other most beautiful instruments in the world, a sitar from India. And 
you'll hear. Ooh. Most people would have heard that sound somewhere. Two main differences. One, the cora is generally made out of um, nylon strings. This has steel strings, but also you'll see down the bottom here a whole set of resonating strings. And what they do is when you strike a note up here, the strings down the bottom also resonate, so that's why you get that beautiful... <laughs> nice and simple. That's an instrument? This is an instrument. Chakala. Chakala. Chakala or kiss kiss. Kiss kiss. Kiss kiss, easy to remember. Cool. Is it hard to do? I bet well, it is. We're going to it see. looks really easy, but it's not, is it? <laughs> Hold it like that. That's yeah. it. These are just so, two seed pods, yeah, are they? Yeah, two seed pods filled with grit. That has to go around there and kiss. And oh, top good. of your thumb mm. and kiss. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Very good. Oh, they're there. They they're kissing. Now move your hand. Oh. Oh. It's so hard. Yes. It looks really easy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of my favourite things of all time. Tell us a bit about this, this one. This is a slit drum. And it's tuned in a tuning called pentatonic. You can basically just... You can just Get away what? and travel with your own rhythm and the melody looks after itself. Oh, you it. can have a beautiful time. Take this drum, put it between your legs like so. You can lift it off the ground like that. You can also rest it down. This is the djembe. I make them, play them, teach them everything. I love them. I want you to bounce that hand off the middle of the drum. That's ah, it. Ah, because I always sort of hit it and it never sounds like that. That's right. If your hand isn't firm, it's like that. OK, no resonance. Other hand, I want you to... Same thing. Good. Now I want you to do this. OK, now I'm going to get you to play that. I'm going to play the other part and we're going to play a song together. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. That's it. Oh! <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, Jeff. Pleasure. So there's a whole world of wild, wacky and wonderful instruments to choose from. Djembe, sitar, What's this one called Cora. again? Cora. Cora? You decide. Woo! There you go. Did you know that half of those instruments existed? Did I know you could play the drum? No. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. You look great. Yeah, it's pretty right simple, on. but it's a start. Yeah, oh, and good. you can even yeah. make your own world instruments, can't you? You can. Like oh. uh, the maracas, which is right. right. Yeah. And I just and made a guitar about. out of wood and fishing line. <laughs> Hard work. Yes, you did very did well. <laughs> and of course, the saucepans. Of course. Yeah. Very good, very good. Play a little, um, chin, 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 chin. Yeah, maybe not. It's called the outside. Maybe we should head back to Sabrina, I think that's a much better idea. Our time travellers are stuck in a new land. Wow, Salem left quite an impression. Hey guys, make sure you're up on the roof in time for the end of Sabrina after the break, okay? Yeah, no worries. See you soon. Welcome back to Sat de Disney. How did you get up here so quick? Well, I did win the 100 metre sprint in year four, Mel. Oh. <laughs> Sabrina's trying to record birthday greetings from Salem's old friends. Yeah, but so far they haven't proven to be that friendly. 